The Singapore International Commercial Court, or the SICC, is a specialised division of the Singapore Courts established to hear international commercial cases. One of the key features of the court is a bench comprising both Singapore and international judges. The international judges hail from civil law and common law jurisdictions. They include judges that would be familiar to arbitration practitioners, including Sir Bernard Eder, Sir Bernard Riggs, Lord Manns, Lord Newberger, Judge Anselmo Rias, Justice Fifin Ramsey, Doug Jones, Justice Sikri, just to name a few. A number of these judges have specialist knowledge in areas of technology and construction law. The quorum for cases at both first instance and on appeal are drawn from this pool of Singapore and international judges. Other than expertise, the court also has a number of distinct features that international parties may find attractive. These include confidentiality and in-camera proceedings in offshore cases, procedures similar to arbitration, including limited discovery, cost awards that more accurately reflect actual costs incurred by the successful party, third-party funding and conditional fee arrangements, in offshore cases, the choice of foreign counsel, and in arbitration matters, there is no need for an expert on foreign law issues. They can be argued through submissions, and it's possible to get leave for foreign counsel familiar with that law to argue it. The jurisdiction of the SICC was recently expanded to hear cases related to arbitration proceedings under the International Arbitration Act. Ordinarily, most cases are still commenced in the General Division of the Singapore Courts and in appropriate cases transferred over to the SICC if they concern international awards or parties or proceedings. What the Model Clause does is to confirm the party's intention that the SICC is the supervisory court in relation to the arbitrations they have agreed to. This means that parties will, if necessary, approach the SICC directly for interim relief, setting aside, and other applications that may be relevant to the arbitration. The SICC has the jurisdiction to hear such cases, and parties have always had the ability to file matters directly with the SICC. But this was not very well known, and so the typical route was to first file with the general division and then see if the case is transferred. So the idea for the clause came about because I was receiving a lot of queries from clients and colleagues about the SICC and whether it could hear arbitration-related cases. Hence, the idea for the model clause was born. It was important that both the courts and the major users of arbitration services believed that the clause was implementable, enforceable and easy to use. It was therefore important to ensure that there was buy-in from the stakeholders. So the SICC set up a working group chaired by Justice Philip Jayaratnam, who is now the President of the Court, together with practitioners across Singapore and international law firms. We discussed the wording of the clause. We wanted it to be easy and forcible and consistent with the Hague Convention on the Choice of Courts. And after a few rounds, we were satisfied with the drafting of the clause. The clause is simple. It makes two points. First, in respect of any court proceedings in Singapore commenced under the International Arbitration Act in relation to an arbitration, the parties agree to commence such proceedings before the SICC. And, in any event, that such proceedings shall be heard and adjudicated by the SICC. It is simple, straightforward and does what it says. If you have chosen Singapore as the seat, you can choose the specific court that you want related litigation to be heard before. The clause is intended to be plug and play and I've had occasion to advise clients on adopting it. The model clause has been endorsed by the Singapore International Arbitration Centre and it is now part of its model arbitration clause. I would encourage lawyers who are in a position to counsel their clients on dispute resolution clauses to consider this additional clause. There are distinct benefits of selecting the SICC, especially for foreign or international parties, as I mentioned. And by including the model clause, there is certainty that you will be before the SICC and certainty as to which court you can file your case before.